Hi, my name is Michael Hackett. I'm a certified Scrum Master and Vice President at Logic Gear Corporation. Today we're going to be talking about Agile development, but we're going to be talking about Agile development specifically for testers, how Agile development affects uh, software testers. This is not a, a class in um, how to do Agile. This is not an introduction to Agile. I would suggest that you go and do some reading on Agile development uh, or Scrum or XP Extreme Programming before watching these videos because this is based on uh, you already having a knowledge and understanding of Agile or Scrum and, and XP. So what we're going to talk about today is a very narrow set of topics particular to testers in a much wider discussion on testing in Agile and in what happens in Agile development. Uh, these topics come from a class that I put together called Testing in Agile Development. Uh, that class has uh, some large content areas. First, it has a discussion of what is Agile, how did we get here, why do we have Agile, what are the common practices. Uh, we, then we talk about uh, how Agile impacts testers, what, what are the specific areas in Agile development that, uh, in the Agile development framework, that impact testers and their work. Next, we talk about test artifacts in Agile. By artifacts, I'm meaning what are the deliverables out of testing. Uh, traditionally, software testers write test plans, they write test cases, they'll develop test data. Uh, in many Agile organizations, uh, test teams completely stop writing test plans. So, so how do we communicate risk? How do we communicate uh, our coverage? How do we communicate what it is we're doing in uh, projects if we don't write test plans anymore? Uh, we can, but we have to know how to do it. So there's a whole section in that class on, on uh, the artifacts we create. There's also a section on test strategy. Uh, how do we write tests? If in the old days we got giant requirements documents and wrote test cases based on those requirements documents and we don't get those requirements documents anymore, how do we do our testing? So we talk about methods and, and uh, techniques to use in, in test case development and in our testing. We also have a chapter on uh, automation in Agile. Automation is, is absolutely foundation to a successful test automation strategy if you don't, uh, uh, if you're not doing significant amounts of automation, you could stop right here, you're probably not going to be successful in Agile. So we have a chapter on uh, test automation and then with most teams these days being distributed around uh, the globe, uh, how do you do Agile when the teams are not co-located, when you're in a couple of different countries. How do you do Agile software development? So, so that class is a is a is a large amount of material, and uh, we just have this four sections uh, discussion on some select topics out of that. So, first, I want to talk about what is Agile and how do we get here. Agile is great, by the way. There are a lot of people who are anxious about the move to Agile or think it's a bad move or have strong opinions about it. So Agile is fine. Um, many teams have been really successful implementing these Agile processes and are much happier doing it. Um, but the problem is, uh, what Agile is, which is what we're going to talk about, is not really well defined. It is not um, a specific SDLC, software development lifecycle, like RUP, like the Rational Unified Process, with uh, many suggestions and milestones and uh, specific phase names. That's not what uh, the Agile framework is about. So how people implement Agile and what practices they actually do uh, is what will uh, uh, decide for your team whether you're going to be successful at Agile or not. So uh, we're going to talk about a couple of those, those practices. First, what is Agile? Uh, Agile is not an SDLC, a software development lifecycle. If we talk about SDLCs like waterfall or uh, rapid prototyping or iterative or incremental, Agile is uh, a set of principles. It's a, it's a set of ideas uh, about how we develop software, how teams work together. Uh, it's not an SDLC in the traditional sense. You have to have another software development lifecycle practice to make Agile work. The most common is Scrum and um, Scrum for how to manage the project, and XP practices, extreme programming practices for how you actually get the, the coding done, what the software development practices are to get the project done. So when people say Agile or we're Agile or our team has moved Agile, 
you're going to have to have another SDLC to make that work. ADM or there's a, there's a bunch of different SDLCs that people talk about, but the, the most common ones are uh, Scrum and XP. So we're going to be talking about that. So, so Agile is ideas for better uh, software. Scrum is a way that people manage projects, and XP is practices to help get the coding done. Scrum was invented in, uh, I shouldn't say invented, it was first presented in 1995 uh, by Jeff Sutherland and Ken Schwaber. Um, it's not new. It's actually based on uh, some publications from 1986. Uh, Scrum is a framework for how to make teams work better together, work at a more sustainable pace, manage work better, uh, work more incrementally toward a, a, a single focus goal. Uh, Agile is, um, Scrum is really focused on how people interact with each other, how people talk to each other, how they share, how they get work done, uh, the work environment. Uh, it's not about um, uh, how you write software. So, uh, so to, to get words straight, Scrum is really about how you manage projects. Uh, 